Hi everyone, it's Cindy here uh, with another video. Today I am demonstrating how to create an armature ready for creative paper clay uh, to be applied. I have decided to make a sea turtle today and I am using aluminium foil uh, to create the armature. I start by crushing uh, the aluminium foil to create uh, the basic shape of the sea turtle. Um, I've put a couple of layers of aluminium foil and I'm just pressing them into that rounded flat, flat bottomed uh, shell shape for the main uh, shape of my turtle. I'm now moving on to creating a uh, head and neck for the turtle, just a roundish shape um, with a bit of a an elongated portion to create the neck. When you create an armature you really only need to create the basic shape of what you are then going to sculpt in the clay. All the detail and the fine uh, work is created with the clay later. This just gives you a base on which to place the clay and so that you're not creating something that is a completely solid block of clay and using up packets and packets of your creative paper clay unnecessarily. Uh, here I am creating the first of uh, the sea turtle's flippers. Just making sure that I have that uh, shape, um, basic shape down. You can see he's coming along. Now moving on to creating the second flipper. The hardest thing I find about creating uh, armatures uh, for things like this is making my pieces even. So, you know, having both the flippers the same size. So you'll see that I compare them and adjust so that they turn out and he looks even, not completely lopsided when I've finished. Just continually compare until I'm happy with the rough shape created. Some people use other things to create armatures. I find that the um, aluminium foil is a cheap and easy uh, resource to use for this sort of thing. Um, readily available everywhere so makes it quick and easy uh, to create whatever I'm looking at in an armature. Just created a little point for the turtle's tail and now I'm working on the rear flippers. Just doing it in much the same motion as I did the, the front flippers only on a smaller scale. I will usually use some sort of a reference photo when I start to uh, sculpt pieces so that I can figure out that I have you know the correct sort of shape and dimensions for everything. Much like when I paint I always tend to use some sort of a reference photo. Just makes getting things looking more lifelike easier. So just trying to get this second rear flipper into shape and um, just constantly pressing that foil into the shape that I'm trying to to achieve. Uh, and there's all my pieces. So next step, I didn't have any masking tape today, often I will use masking tape, um, but I found some double sided tape and uh, just went ahead and used that to lay all the pieces together. It's an armature, it's underneath, it doesn't really matter too much what you use at all. Um, and at this stage all I was trying to achieve was uh, connecting all the pieces so that he was one solid uh, unit instead of uh, tiny pieces everywhere. So here you'll see me wrapping the double sided tape around each of the individual pieces to put him together as a whole. 
and slightly adjusting again because I wasn't happy with that uh, front flipper there. Just some extra tape to hold all these bits on. As it's double sided tape, you'll see shortly that I choose to remove the backing off the tape, which then leaves a sticky surface. So anytime I use the double sided tape, what I do is I will get another sheet of foil and wrap it over the whole piece so that I end up with one complete unit. Making the armatures I find is much easier making them in pieces and then putting them together like this at the end. I'm not very good at um, molding them into a solid shape to begin with. Um, it's much easier to make an oval for a shell and then a bit of a, a crescent for a flipper etc than it is to try and shape an actual rough shape of a turtle in the one go. So here I am covering the double sided tape just to finish off so he has one complete unit and no sticky parts. And it's as simple as that. There he is, ready to be sculpted. My base for an upcoming project. I hope you found this helpful. Thank you very much for watching. Till next time, bye.